Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, joined today by Assemblyman Jeff Gorell. Good to have you here. Good to be here. We want to make it very clear that this is pre-tape. This is March 16th, and we're doing this uh, taping today because the Assemblyman is leaving for Afghanistan. He is in the Navy, and we want to wish you the, the, the best of luck over there as you represent our country and, and try to bring some peace in other parts of, of our world here. And and. As you move on, it's it's not like uh, you're leaving us behind. Uh, you've got a vision for California, and you've got a legislative package you have. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I've been able to uh, submit as much legislation as any other legislator because the deadline has come and gone. And I've done that with other other authors, other legislators who have joint authored the legislation with me. So they've taken equal political responsibility with moving it through the legislative process. And my staff is is uh, committed to working with the other legislators on moving those bills through ultimately with the goal of having an incredibly success, successful legislative session uh, as much as or more than anyone could ever hope, even if I was, even if I was here. So I, I have great optimism I'm going to have a very successful legislative session, notwithstanding the fact that I'll be taking a 12-month unpaid leave of absence right in the middle of the legislative session due to these um, unexpected and involuntary mobilization orders to and Afghanistan. And again, that's the key here. This wasn't planned. This was unexpected. When you ran for office, you, you never expected that you would be deployed, that you wanted to be here. So let's talk yeah. about what you've put into action here. What types of bills <laughs> are you trying to get through, and, and what, what, what do you want to accomplish? Yeah, well, as a former small business owner myself, an advocate for businesses, I uh, thought that when I came to Sacramento, the majority of my bills would be about would be about um, job creation and about uh, economic development, but in, but indeed that's only a small portion of my overall legislative agenda. What I found myself involved with is is reforming government, downsizing government, streamlining government, making it more transparent, making it more effective for taxpayers, and I, f I found that to be a, because of the because the really unique historic opportunity we have in Sacramento. With, uh, with this terrible downturn in the economy. It's really the only silver lining to this terrible downturn in the economy, the worst since the Great Depression, is that people are paying attention and they want to see major reforms in government. They want to see these uh, massive uh, 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 liabilities, long-term liabilities like uh, pensions and, and entitlements reformed. They want to see these uh, duplicative agencies that have been around, some have been around for 120, 130 years. They want to see them consolidated and downsized and streamlined. They want to see more transparency in government so that when we appropriate money to various uh, entities and agencies, boards and commissions, that they know where it's being spent and that it's being spent wisely. And they want to see greater oversight. They want to see the legislature performing greater oversight uh, uh, over such things as cities and counties uh, where you see a lot of abuses that have come to light because of the economic downturn and because people are paying greater attention. Well, you're hearing a lot from your constituents and that's what they want. Now you're in Sacramento. It's a whole different playing field up here, isn't it? I mean, you come in with great intentions, but you got to get everybody else to be on the same team, and that's the difficult part, isn't it? It is, but but I believe for the first time in a long time, you've got people focused on reform, focused on monumental reform, not just around the edges. You've got a governor who's taken the mantle to a certain extent of, of declaring that it's time to change the way uh, California and Sacramento does business. You've got legislators like, uh, just to give an example, uh, State Senator uh, Fran Pavley, who has always been about creating additional regulations, uh, has for, uh, introduced a bill to to streamline and roll back onerous regulations within the last month. So you're seeing movement that you haven't seen in decades uh, from, 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 the, from the entire spectrum, the political spectrum here in, here in Sacramento. And I think that's very encouraging. And I think it's because they're hearing, they're hearing the same message in their districts that I'm hearing. And that is that uh, they don't want business as usual and they want Sacramento reformed and they want less spending and, and, and more efficiency. Assemblyman Jeff uh, Gorell, thank you very much. And, and best of luck in Afghanistan, as they say, thank Godspeed. You. We'll see you back here hopefully soon, and we'll hopefully see you back here as well for Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.